everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, hopefully everything's working. I've been having some audio issues and this is the third time doing the live stream. Hopefully it's when third time's a charm, right? Let's hope so anyway. Okay, what we have today is a George Fullerton vintage signature, right? GNL guitar, GNL Stratocaster from the early 90s. Uh, the owner who brought this guitar into me for a setup uh, said that they got this brand new back in the early 90s. And according to the serial number dating that, it places the guitar somewhere between 91 and 93. We know that that's not an exact science, but it jives with what the owner told me. So, okay, we're looking at a vintage early 90s GNL Stratocaster. Now, these guitars are kind of neat because they blend old school and like modern Stratocaster features all together into the guitar. So it's kind of kind of an interesting guitar. Uh, the pick guard is a single ply old school pick guard like you'd see on something from like a 56 or 57 Stratocaster. You know, it's just a single piece of plastic, one ply, single, you know, it's only got, you know, five pickups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws instead of the general like 11 screws that you find or, you know, on a modern guitar. It has flat pull single coils, they're not staggered, okay? So that's again, like, they're old school pickups in the sense they're just straight up Alnico, as far as I know, Alnico magnet single coils, but they are flat pole, not staggered. Okay, uh, it has the proprietary, you know, GNL tremolo on it, which we'll put the R, the bar in there in a moment. But you know, big plate, a little more stable than the traditional old school, you know, tremolo. Um, the neck is kind of chunky. Okay, it's kind of like a, like a, a 50s style chunky kind of neck. Um, has a 9.5 radius on there with vintage frets. It's similar to my Blacktop Strat with this neck. It's kind of a, got a chunky feel to it, but uh, it's, it plays pretty much like that guitar. Only difference is it has the vintage frets. So let's take a quick look. It has a tobacco sunburst finish, like something you'd see on the 1960s guitar, right? with the rosewood board, which came in the 60s too. But let's take a look at this finish, it's very nice. Okay, they did an outstanding job with the fit and finish here. Okay, it's an ash body on this guitar. Okay, very nice, very flawless kind of a finish on there. And we have the old George Fullerton signature right there on the upper bout, which is very cool, okay. Yeah, very nice rosewood board with the vintage frets. Nice piece of big old slab of rosewood on there. Very nice. Towards the headstock that has GNL logo with, you know, GNL logo with the George Fullerton signature. That's pretty cool. Flip it over. Here we go. Hey. On the other side, look at that. Nice, very nice vintage, uh, not vintage style, but the, you know, good sealed tuners, good quality tuners on the guitar. Nice piece of maple for the neck. Very nice. Good fit and finish coming all the way up to the guitar body, right? Nice finish on the back. The ash looks really good. Nice three, you know, three, uh, three-way sunburst there. Okay. Nice big block on the tremolo. Okay, there's a float on there. Side view. See the single ply pick guard, you know. Flat pole single coils. And we're getting out on that neck pocket. Very let's get up close on the neck pocket. It's nice and tight. They get a good job with the neck pocket. There's no big gaps in there. No big gaps on the neck pocket. So the neck fits in there really good. Alright, so we'll slap the family bar. And these are cool because they just, they don't thread in, they just, you know, slide them right in, snap it in, right? And you got your tremolo. We'll go ahead and we'll take it through the motions and we'll make sure that we have some audio here. That was my problem, was I wasn't getting audio for the guitar going through the motions. Let's make sure we have that. Okay. I 
should be coming through nice and strong right there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go through the motions with uh, position one being the bridge pickup, position two, back tone between the bridge, the middle pickup, then position three, the middle pickup by itself, then position four, the quack tone between the middle and the bridge, I mean the middle and the, uh, the neck pickup, and then position five, the neck pickup, which sounds really nice on this guitar. It's a very good sounding neck pickup, I must say. Okay, so the first time we're first time's gonna be real clean. I'm on a Mustang 3 amp with the vintage, it's a twin, nice and clean. Okay, good clean old school sound. We'll go through all five positions clean, and then we'll throw the uh, I'll, I'll throw an overdrive on there just to give it a little bit of a boost so you can hear what it sounds like in five positions with a little bit of a you know, a little bit of a boost hitting it in the front of the amp. Okay, and here we go. Let's do, let's do our run through of the positions. Clean, then some overdrive.
Okay, now we'll slap a little overdrive on there and hear what it sounds like with a little bit hitting in the front. And one thing I didn't mention before, just we'll mention now, is that the, uh, the tone knob on these <clears throat> is wired up old school. You don't have any tone going to the bridge pickup. You only have the bottom tone going to the middle and that middle tone knob going to the neck pickup. That's it. There's no tone knob wired to the bridge. So totally old school in that respect. So something to know. Okay, let's put some overdrive on it.
Okay, so there you have it. That's bringing this guitar through all the motions, <clears throat> clean and a little bit of dirt on there. And, uh, you know, very cool guitar. So if you can find one of these, you know, be, being as though they're entering that vintage market, you may, you may want to pick one up because I would think they're only going to appreciate at this stage of the game more than ever, being as though it's a vintage GNL, especially a signature model like a George Fullerton signature. Pretty cool. And if you find one in good shape like this, really can't go wrong, you know. They play cool, they play good, you know, like I said, you have the old school attributes, <clears throat> you know, blended with the new school, you know, the, the modern features of, you know, like a 9.5, a flatter radius, you know, flat pole, pickups, you know, a nice tremolo. These tremolos are very responsive, you know, they're, they're nice and, nice and springy, you know. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in today and checking out the guitar with me. And of course, if you dig what's happening on the channel, subscribe to the channel, share, let people know. If you know some folks who are into this kind of a thing, let them know about the channel. Let them come out here and check things out, okay? And if you dig my videos, you'll probably dig my music. I do have music out there, fine instrumental blues rock fusion, okay? There's links down there to my music. Check it out. You'll like it. I know you will. And... Of course, if you're looking for lessons, you want some private instruction, you know, there's a link down there to reach me about that. And until next time, stay awesome, enjoy your guitar. See you again real soon. Peace. <laughs>